All right, here we go. I'm Edge Dreswell, and uh, this is my review of the new Batman movie coming out, supposedly in uh, October 2021. Yeah, okay. So I got kind of mixed reviews, because um, I don't, nor normally I just don't like uh, uh, all the change. I like change, but I don't like necessarily all the changes the characters I already know, and I watch about anything Batman to at least give it a chance, you know. Um, I don't like it when they replace the actors and then, you know, oh, this is my version of this, this is this, you know, and then hardly anybody has a continuation anymore. It's always like, well, no, this is before this, so you have to go back and forth and back and forth. That's, dude, that messes with people's heads, man. That's not, it may be good, but it just, I don't know, I don't like that. It's way, way too much of that. It's overkill. But anyway, this is what I think the new Batman should be. You know, of course, uh, Michael Keaton. You know, of course, I always wanted Michael Keaton back, so, yeah, bring Michael Keaton back, uh, you know, and I'm thinking, like, the directors have, like, Tim Burton, bring Tim Burton back with working with Chris Nolan. I know it's crazy. I know. I know. But it can work, man. It can work. I can on you. Anyway, <laughs> um, so we got, like, and Joaquin Phoenix. What about Joaquin Phoenix? Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. Michael Keaton as Batman returning. You know, and of course now, Michael Keaton is now Mr. Wayne, um, which is okay, because um, my, this is my hypothesis here, as the folk. <laughs> um, so now Mr. Wayne's like a retired crime fighter, and he's passing down this torch, you know, and it's like uh, the year 2049, you know. See how I'm going with this? So yeah, 2049, it's picking after the recent death of uh, Logan, a.k.a. Wolverine, and then also Professor X, a.k.a. Charles Xavier, um, as the new mutants uh, surviving, uh, they find them, you know, Mr. Wayne and Wonder Woman, Diana, they find the new mutants, and then um, they decide they need uh, some direction. And then also Laura, which is also known as X-23 from the uh, Logan, you know, so she's mourning the death of that, what she knew of, you know, everything she knew as a dad, for her, as a dad for her, you know, that was her dad that passed away, which is Logan. Uh, anyway, um, so everybody's older, and then they track down uh, Mr. Wayne's old pal, chum, uh, Robin, but unfortunately they found out that he passed away a couple years ago, you know, because everybody lost touch and everything, and so yeah, they found his grave, and um, also, he didn't have any children, but he had a nephew, and uh, so they track him down, uh, and they found out. Oh, and they found out Robin had died of natural causes, you know. But uh, anyways, as Mr. Grayson has a nephew, um, they found out this nephew uh, from talking to other people. They found out he always uh, followed in his uncle's footsteps, you know, because he wanted something different. He wanted a better life, a happier life, an exciting adventure, you know. See where I'm going? Um, anyways, informing Diana, a.k.a. Wonder Woman, uh, Mr. Wayne also now sets a goal, as difficult as it may seem, to make the impossible possible. Where am I going with this? I don't know where I'm going with Anyway, uh, recruits, uh, Robin's nephew into the new Mr. Wayne, it's not a Mr. Wayne school. Hello, I'm here at the Mr. Wayne school. I'm a dork. Not really, I'm just messing with you. Anyways. Uh, they recruit this new Robin, uh, which is Robin's actual nephew, you know, at the Wayne Trading Academy, also known as the New Mutant School, uh, once designed by Charles Xavier years ago. Uh, now, one year later, in 2050, uh, the new Robin's training is complete. But unbeknown to him, uh, there was also... Here comes the twist. Uh, there was also bullies from his past and relatives and enemies of his father. Later revealed! Good thing. Hold on, I need some coffee. Cruel intentions, baby. From his past, and relatives and enemies of his... Oh yeah, these were the bullies. The relatives and enemies of his father later revealed that they also caused the death of his uncle, which was Robin, you know, and his parents as well. So this is everything, you know, that this Robin knew of his parents that got killed. 
you know, his uncle got killed, you know. We're all now finding this out, and it's like, what in the world? But these bullies caused this. Um, so his, and his mother, you know, the mother that he had, she kind of disappeared after, after um, Robin died and everything. So, uh, or no. No, his aunt, I'm sorry, his aunt uh, disappeared, you know. So, uh, or he couldn't, you could twist that around his aunt, his mom. Whatever in the world you want to call him, man. Whatever, man, whatever. Anyway, uh, anyways, after loss of him, and now we begin uh, the new Justice League. So now in 2050, also a year later, there are new possible effects and consequences of these past enemies, which also went into uh, training at the same time that they had gone into training, which was a year prior. Um, so now the new Justice League... Justice League is finding this out, that there's also this other school of gifted mutants. But that school of mutants, which is also the bullies and the enemies of the past and the family, um, their only mission is to uh, destroy the new Justice League and humans to take over the world, to conquer the world and start a new world of powerful mutants. Yeah. So that, I don't know, this may be stretched out, but this is, this is my idea. I want it to be detailed and amazing, man. <laughs> So, assisting uh, Bruce and Diane in this academy of new hero recruits is Batgirl. Na -na 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 -na. Hold on, I'll drink to that. Okay, and she's also retired. You know, she's living in a secluded cabin in the mountains of Wyoming. I don't know Wyoming, but it just sounded good. Wyoming. Wyoming. Anyway, so she's living in the mountains of Wyoming with her dog named Oracle. And uh, her pet bat. She has a pet bat. Why not, man? <laughs> Who has a pet bat? Oh, yeah, Bat Girl. And you know what his name is? She called him Bruce. How ironic is that? Ha, ha, ha. Na, 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 na. Anyway. <laughs> so, notice the irony. <laughs> so she's also now a quadriplegic in a wheelchair. And the bad mutants track down uh, the missing cat woman. This is all at the same time, you know, everything going on, and it's like building up, it's building up to this this battle. Maybe not a final battle, but it could be also a new beginning, a new beginning. <laughs> so uh, they found out uh, Catwoman. Oh, the oh yeah, as they found Catwoman, the villains, these villains of these other mutants, they tracked down Catwoman at the same time, and she uh, was also now the owner. Of this facility called Saved Felines, this this facility outside Derry, Maine. Okay, so she's in Derry, Maine. Um, she now leaves, and then they talk her into it, and then they she realizes everything that happened and a way to get revenge on Bruce and everybody else. You know, it's like, oh, get my way, meow meow. <laughs> so yeah, so she leaves everything behind. Um, to finally get revenge towards Mr. Wayne and his new friends and help recruit these new villain mutants. So she's just going to give them direction, you know. Um, and then later reveals she may also be um, Robin's mother or his aunt, which is, that's a stretch, I know, it's crazy. But why not? You know, that's a twist, man. What if she was ended up being his mom? What if she ended up being his aunt this whole time, you know? And that's what starts this revenge over all these years. You know, which leads up to this and these new schools and mutants and everything and everybody getting together, you know. Um, so, yeah. So, what happened to his mother? What happened to his aunt? You know, what happened to his uncle? You know, where did all this go all these years ago? And now we know this is a setup, you know. And it wasn't just an accident or natural causes. Here we go again. <laughs> it's not just natural causes, so... This is a setup, so it's like one giant story beginning, you know. It's not an all-new beginning, but kind of a futuristic continuation, leading everybody together and everything together. Um, so how about this as a script for the new Batman franchise? Um, you know, it's kind of an idea with a twist. You like it, you hate it, or whatever. You know, this is just my, uh, hypothetically speaking, my hypothesis uh, theory where I think they should go with this whole thing. So yeah, so now you got it. There's my idea. Na 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 na.